What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM in a Flash review. Today we'll be talking about Firefly 1.5 from Adam Holden 85, also known as the uh, developer and creator for uh, the Phoenix ROMs that a lot of you guys use. So uh, go ahead and get the phone powered up here. We're just going to do a standalone test uh, comparison today. Uh, it's not a comparison, it's just a review. Um, and the reason for that is because Firefly is relatively new, so nothing to really compare it to. So. Uh, we've got the typical Galaxy S GTI 9000 screen, uh, obviously because we are running the speed mod uh, kernel uh, version O, so we'll see that. And then we're going to get this nice graphic uh, animation going. Uh, the ROM does support boot animation.zip, and you get this nice uh, puzzle piece, broken glass, all coming together into a Phoenix logo, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, stuff you see on the Phoenix ROMs as well. So you're going to see a lot of the, a general Phoenix overview uh, in this ROM. So we'll go ahead and unlock now. And as you notice, that nice animation, uh, there's cool animations throughout. So I mean, you can see when I click on something, it comes to the front and swipes to the side. Uh, this is built on the Rogers Froyo that was recently released, and we've seen a lot of developers pick this up. And uh, this can be used for a really stable day-to-day -day ROM. Um, it's going to have a lot of stability built into it and we're not going to focus on uh, pure speed and things like that. It's going to have good speed but uh, we're looking for stability with a ROM like this so that's really what's been delivered in this package so um, let's go ahead and go into the, uh, the about phone info and if we go down to the bottom we can see that we're running Firefly 1.5 uh, standard kernel for hardcore speed mod and then the uh, JK4 is being used for the modem, which is a 99,000 based modem that works well with the, uh, the kernel that has been elected for this ROM. Um, obviously, we're going to have a lot of Americanizing going on, so we've changed locales to the U.S. and a couple other settings that would be Canadian based. So we're going to see uh, a change in that to, uh, to allow this to be used on you know, a lot of American networks by a lot of Americans. So that's uh, it's a handy customization. Um, in addition to all the things that we just talked about, it's sporting the uh, the gingerbread uh, launcher that we've been seeing a lot. So you'll get the um, the three icon dock at the bottom, and you're going to get the cool manage apps button that allows you quick access to all the apps that you have installed. Um, one other thing that they've kind of tossed in here is the gingerbread calculator, uh, obviously with um, full landscape support. So something nice to look at. One other thing that we uh, can discuss is the, the obvious theming. It's got the Phoenix theming kind of throughout, uh, but it does have its own touch as well. We can notice that up here at the top, we've got the, uh, the Firefly type battery mod. That's a pretty cool touch. And uh, if we were to pull down, we'd notice that we've got the, uh, the black with the uh, neon green type theming for the notification bar with some cool icons. Uh, that's a pretty nice touch as well. Um, one thing about Adam is he's always put a lot of nice theming into his ROMs. And as he suggests, I mean, he builds these ROMs typically, you know, originally he builds them the way he'd like to have them. So if you don't like it, just theme it. Um, there's people developing cool themes for these things all the time. We've got the cool Firefly uh, background uh, with the flames there. Over on the right, out of the box, we've got the, uh, the nice power controls type of uh, widget on the side. Nothing on that side. Uh, one other cool thing is uh, I've noticed that the MMS, if you get a message, you get the, this kind of MMS notification at the top rather than the stock one. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Um, and I, I don't recall seeing that with uh, other Gingerbread Launcher ROMs, so maybe that's something custom. Uh, wasn't mentioned, but I think it's cool. Um, another thing to, uh, to mention would be the messaging. We've got the black themed messaging, which is really nice. I think it makes it easier to read. Um, I've always liked uh, dark backgrounds with light fonts. Obviously, if you check out my site, you'll notice that. And um, so you got that going on. And obviously, we've got the uh, the cool swipe type keyboard with uh, no gridding, and we've got it blacked out with uh, neon green accents for the, uh, the special symbols. So I mean, it's going to be a really cool. Um, customization there. We've been seeing that in a lot of the Phoenix ROMs, as well as other ROMs like Serendipity and other developers are starting to dip into that uh, that swipe theming, and I'm all for it. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, we've also got a theme dialer, something similar that you're going to see to, uh, to some of the other ROMs that are produced by Adam and um, some of the other developers. Um, you got the cool green theme going on here, and we've replaced uh, the video call button with a favorites type button. That'll launch you straight into uh, contacts. I guess that's a contacts button. I apologize. 
Uh, so we've gotten rid of uh, the video call button, which is uh, nice because it was pretty much pointless for us. Uh, it does support backlight notification out of the box. Uh, you'll notice that with this kernel, we're not getting the, uh, the instant on at the bottom until we touch that. So you can always use Guardian Bob's Keep the Lights On APK. Check out my i9000 uh, video for that. So you'll notice that with this particular kernel, we don't get the, uh, the capacitive lighting at the bottom until we touch one of the buttons themselves. Full haptic feedback throughout the entire ROM. Uh, one thing that's cool to mention that for this specific ROM is uh, we've got the four screen unlocker. So we can check out all four screens. I've got Epic Unlock. I really like that one. But if I wanted to change to Android, it's as easy as doing that. Turn the phone back on, and boom, we got Android. And there was another nice glimpse of a, a cool animation. So different ROMs, different animations. Um, really cool stuff in this. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about a few of the, the apps it comes with. Obviously, BLN is natively supported, and we've got BLN Control Free for that application. We also have SGS uh, Kernel Flasher right there. So a couple of useful apps right out of the box. If you want to do some customization, you won't have to sideload those or go grab them from the market. Um, let's go ahead and skip right into some scores. Let's take a look. Only we've only added Nenomark Neo Core Lin Pack and Advanced Task Killer to this build. So we'll go ahead and launch our lin pack. We're probably going to see about a 14.0. Uh, like I said, this wasn't optimized particularly for speed. It's very snappy. It is quick, but uh, it's not you know overclocked hardcore. So we got 14.0. That's actually not overclocked at all. Um, so I mean, we're going to see about stock scores here that we can expect for Froyo. Uh, but we're seeing good stuff here. So about a 14.1 for the lin pack. It's a nice score. Do one more kill. We'll go into a neo core. Do a run. This is way easier to do with one phone. <laughs> and I've obviously noticed that my camera focuses much better like this. So I'm going to set this down. You've seen this a million times, so we don't really need to see all the stuff that's going on there. So I'm going to set that down, let that run. Okay, so we got a 55.5 there for our Neo Core. Go back out and we'll run a Nenomark. Ah, I went to the wrong one, sorry about that. Okay. And of course, the sound's going to be a little quieter since I have it set on this, uh, this hard uh, surface that I'm using, so. Also guys, uh, as far as comments go, I do appreciate comments on YouTube um, for the ROM reviews, but if you have something that's uh, ROM specific, so we have a 50.8 on uh, the Ninomark. Uh, if you have a question or something that's actually ROM specific, try to drop that in the developer's thread instead. You'll get a lot more support over there. Uh, I try my best to try to answer a lot of the questions, but um, as far as like typical ROM questions, try to ask in the developer thread. You're going to get quicker responses as those threads are constantly being viewed and constantly being posted on. So that's really the best place to go for questions on these ROMs. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, okay, so we got our tests. We got about a 14.1 on the uh, you know on the LIN pack and typical scores for NeoCore and Nenomark. So as I mentioned, you know scores are going to be about standard for Froyo. Uh, the phone is very responsive. There's no problems with that at all. Got great theming throughout. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the uh, the cool boot animation. I mean, sorry, the uh, shutdown animation. Um, obviously, the extended power menus are here as well. Uh, but if we power off, we're going to get this cool CRT-looking shutdown that we've seen in the Phoenix ROMs. And that's, without a doubt, one of the coolest shutdowns that, that we've seen personally. So that is Firefly 1.5. 
Um, as far as bugs, the only thing that's been noted by Adam himself, I haven't noticed anything personally, but I don't use the lock screen wallpaper, but supposedly that is buggy, so don't don't kill yourself trying to figure that one out. Um, Firefly 1.5, that's this week's ROM and a Flash review uh, from Adam Holden85 and the team uh, that he works with. Um, visit MobileTechVideos.com for the latest news and updates. I'll be adding uh, more content to the site. If for any reason you have an HTC HD2, I've pulled mine back out of the box to start doing some videos on it and show the cool uh, Android and Windows Phone 7 development that's been going on over there. Uh, I'm really impressed with a lot of that stuff. But, um, you know, uh, feel free to donate to Adam and his cause. A lot of work goes into these ROMs, and his donate link is in the more info section in the uh, drop down box below. Uh, also, as well, you know, I appreciate donations as well. It helps keep these uh, videos free. And, uh, and coming, you know, uh, in, in great numbers. So uh, mainly any donation that I get goes to uh, web hosting to keep that free is what I meant by that. And uh, obviously you can buy me a beer or soda or whatever you want to would like to buy me. But um, if not, no big deal. Subscribe. That's just as good. And uh, as always, if you're looking to flash, good luck.